Hello, everybody. Hello, Kingdom family. I just wanted to um, come on here and just read some Bible with you, the Word of God, for it is alive and active. And I wanted to read Proverbs uh, chapter 3. And it says, My child, do not forget my teachings, but let your heart keep my commandments, for they will provide a long life and full life. So he says, when we keep his commandments, they will provide you a long and full life. That's why it's important that we follow God's commandments, his principles, his laws. For it says that it will go well with us. Do not let mercy and truth leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and people. So then he says, it says, do not let mercy and truth leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. And then he says, then you will find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and people. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all of your ways. He says, all of, my, all of your ways, you should acknowledge me. He doesn't say in some of your ways. He says in all of your ways. And he will make your path, your path straight. When we acknowledge him and everything, he will be the one to make our path straight. So if there's confusion in your life, if there's, um, um, you know, you're not understanding something, then you're doing something wrong. Because he says, if you, if you put your, your, if you um, lean on him and not on yourself, then there shouldn't be confusion. There shouldn't be misunderstanding because he's the one that makes your path straight. It says, do not be wise in your own estimation. Do not be wise in your own estimation. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. This will bring healing to your body. Come on, somebody. It says, it says, this will bring healing to your body when you turn away from evil, not run towards evil. And refreshment to your inner self. Hallelujah. Honor the Lord from your wealth and from the first fruits of all your crops. Honor the Lord from your wealth and from the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled completely. So he's telling you what will happen when you follow that, right? He's like, then it, then this will happen. If you follow my commandments, then this will happen. If you lean not on your under, own understanding, then this will happen. It says, and your vats will overflow with new wine. My child, do not despise discipline from the Lord. And how many know that it is hard when the Lord disciplines you, but we all need it. We all need it. We all fall short. We need that discipline. My child, do not despise discipline from the Lord and do not loathe his rebuke. For the Lord disciplines those he loves. Just as a father disciplines a son in whom he delights. If your parents are not disciplining you and they let you do whatever on earth you want to do, uh, that is not love to begin with. That is not love. Because you want to protect them and take care of them. Only you you know why you tell them not to go out in, at a certain time or to be home before a certain time or to not watch this and to not watch that. It's because you're trying to take care of them and trying to keep them out of trouble. Because we've been there, done that. We know. We know. Just like our father knows. He knows. Like daughter, son, if you do this, it's not... This is the consequence that's going to happen. This is the consequences. So I love that. Um, we need to um, practice his commandments. Do his commandments. Do his commandments, right? And it shall, then things come. Then the promises come after. Then, then. He says, then it will happen. Then you will be favored. Then you will be favored. Then your barns will be filled. 
if you honor God with your first fruits and your wealth. So just wanted to read that uh, Bible verse with you guys today. I pray that y'all have an awesome day. It is rainy in San Antonio. The weather is beautiful. I love the rain. And I'm about to go to work. Praise the Lord. So I just had a little time to uh, to read some Bible with you guys. Some Holy Scripture. Come on, somebody. Some Holy Scripture. All right. So let's not just be, uh, you know seers of the word but be doers of the word let's just not be hearers of the word but be doers of the word and i'm preaching to myself you know we need to we need to really practice it and practice it and um, follow his commandments and his laws and things will go well with us i was just thinking about that today um on my way here i was like lord imagine if we all follow god's commandments how awesome um everything would be we wouldn't lack anything. We wouldn't get in the wrong relationships. We wouldn't marry the wrong people. We wouldn't, you know, people would be um, considerate. People would be loving. People would be kind. I mean, imagine if we lived in a society like that where everybody was considerate. Everybody was kind. Everybody was loving. Everybody honored one another. That would be awesome. But brothers and sisters... We have that promise from the Lord that, that when we go with him for eternity, that we shall lack nothing, that we shall be happy, that there will be no sorrow, that there will only be happiness. We will be with our father, reunited with him forever in eternity. And that will be the most beautiful time and beautiful moment. But today, let's do our best. Um, you know, let's do our best every day to make sure that we do follow his commandments, to turn away from evil. To turn away from evil. He says when we turn away from evil, that health, we we should have we shall have health when we turn away from evil. So people out there, Christians, my brothers and sisters, and you're battling sickness that you can't get that you cannot shake off. You need to examine yourself and say, Lord, am I turning to evil? Is there something that I am you know that I'm missing? Is there a sin that I'm just not, not catching, Lord? Reveal it to me in the name of Jesus. So the word of God is so awesome and so beautiful. It, it is, it man, it is full of so much good stuff. So much good, 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 good comes from, from his word. So much good comes from his word. I love his word. I love to read his word. I love discipline. I, I love it. And you know what? Sometimes it hurts a little bit. When God does discipline you or rebukes you, you know, but it's a learning process and we, we, we should want to learn. We should want to grow, um, spiritually and everything else we should want to, but anyways, all right, y'all have an awesome day. I'm about to go in now, but love y'all. Shalom. Shalom.